People frequently say that they don't want to get involved in politics because they don't want to get their hands dirty. But the reality of it is the political community that we live in affects our ability to be uh, a good person. So it's important if you want to be able to be a better person and you want other people to be able to be better people too, then you need to participate in your political community so that it has good laws that are conducive to uh, virtue and happiness. You have to think very strategically about the ways in which you want to defend the freedom of the church, the freedom of conscience of, of individuals, and the right to life of the young. And that's the kind of thing that moral philosophy or moral theology can't teach you. At some level, you have to know something about how to craft laws and about political tactics, you know, in order to achieve those goods. I would say two broad things make our political science department unique. The first would be the kind of interdisciplinary way in which we do things. We offer courses in natural law theory, Catholic social doctrine. We also do American government, international relations, rhetoric and public speaking, economics. So basically students who graduate with a political science degree then will have a firm grounding in all the different aspects of political science. And because of the natural law and rhetoric courses, they'll be able to take what they know out into the world and debate about the major issues of the day. And then I think the practical side of our political science major is fairly unique too with the practical program and the internships that we're able to get students at the local and state level and then also in, in Washington, D.C. I think we're really well positioned geographically for students to take advantage of those opportunities to gain experience in politics that can translate into getting uh, you know, good jobs when they graduate.